Alright, this is another attempt at this. Um, I normally start out with about, well, about three. I normally start out with three uh, URX VT windows. Um, and I have shortcuts for everything. Uh, I got a music player there. I normally put uh, my connection. What's going on with my connection here? Um, below that, I normally have my extensive uh, volume control. <laughs> um, uh, uh, let's look, let's look at the top menu though. I have uh, in in the uh, we'll start from left to right. Okay, and this this is uh, you click on this and that's that's your menu. Okay, and you go down through it. Uh, these are all the different programs: um, from terminal, browser file managers, G editors, if you want to use those. Um, I use them more for, for showing things than anything. Uh, games, extensive list of games. Uh, and then this will just open up um, the terminal, whatever terminal you have set for it to open, um, which I might still have that set to the first terminal I used when I first first set this thing up I'm not sure which would have been the uh, XFC4 terminal which is uh, not, not very good co compared to what I'm using now but like I said this is URX VT um, I'll get into some of the other terminals here in a second uh, next next to the your menu button you have you have um, all your tabs are workspaces. Okay, and I have one through ten here, and you can do do them pretty much artistically, however you want it. You want your layout to be, but right now I have them in Roman numerals. I had um, German letters, I had um, Chinese letters, um, just different different stuff. Symbols at one time, I think. Um, and then at, after that, I have here I have. Um, a few widgets I have first I have it's the um, like your RAM as as your RAM increases um, you'll be able to see see the increase here and I think it's it has like a multicolor to it which actually you can see the multicolor next to it and um, and what this is is a, it's a frequency graph and it's a quad core processor but I have it set up to um, for the to take an average an average of the four and give me a graph which right now it's kinda low but I mean you still can see some some stuff there and next to that I'm, I am kinda proud of this uh, battery widget that I designed it's one of the first real things I wrote in in Lua code which is what uh, what awesome window manager is is, is written in uh, and next to that I have the percentage of the battery and it's uh, right now it is the power is disconnected so we'll be able to watch it slowly go down as we do this video um, and then it uh, these are all the windows you can see the the darker color here is the the recorder um, but it pretty much tells a also mixer down at the bottom um, with pulse audio um, WICD curses which is uh, what I use for my connection and then this is uh, the mock the music player and you can see it's uh, it's got the transparent background. Uh, moving over to the far right here, we have uh, this is kind of nice. It's a uh, volume control and it is interactive. I can mute it out. I can um, if I did have a mouse plugged in, which I don't. I'm just kind of using uh, my keyboard's touchpad right now. Um, you c you'd be able to scroll up and down, and it would it would actually it would move the volume up and move the volume down, which I have. Um, the volume I have all that set up with uh, with key bindings which I'll get to in a second here next to uh, next to my volume icon I have uh, I just have the date um, and then next to that is the layout which you can see is uh, resemblant of the layout we have here now which you can switch between um, I'm gonna go on to tab 2 and since I was talking about the menu um, if I hit if I hit my mod key or window key mod key 4 or window key and F1 it brings it brings up a window okay and it brings up this this window here and this is this is all my key bindings which is kinda nice for 
either if I'm handing the computer off to somebody that wants to learn awesome or it's e if it's it, even nice for yourself if um, if it's something new that um, say this is new code you put in and you want to you want to try and you uh, utilize all the uh, all the key bindings you can you can remind yourself or say it's a new key binding you put in you don't remember but I'll tell you after a while uh, you won't even you won't even look at this menu there are times I still look at it though so it is kinda nice um, all you have to do really I think that the original setting with the with the code that I I used um, to put this thing together it's, it's something ridiculous like 10 seconds or something I put it clear up to like 300 seconds but really all you have to do is if you run run the mouse into it it goes away so it's kind of nice uh, as far as the battery goes I do have another um, it's just say you have something full screen um, going like a movie or whatever and you're curious about the battery I have an actual setup for that if I hit my mod key and F8 which actually has a picture of a battery on it because I recently changed it but you'll see in the right hand corner there it actually shows that it's at 93% and then that goes away pretty quickly um, now in, in window number two here uh, okay I did talk about URX VT um, in this window I'll use uh, termite which is uh, my hands are in the air as far as not knowing which terminal emulator is better termite uh, termite actually gives you it, it, it gives true color uh, at the same time it doesn't come with um, with the transparency you actually have to add Compton to that which is a, a comp, comp compositioner I think is how you would say that um, but but you need to you need to activate that to activate the true transparency as far as um, termite goes let's put the uh, TTY clock in the middle here in the center on top we'll put a, a top and on the bottom we'll put uh, H top okay and the news builder over here which is the, this is nice and I do use this all the time uh, you can look at different like if you're a gamer you can look at game torrents um, just general news you can see in CNN you got uh, gate world hacker news you got info wars um, you got lossless torrents through Kickass, which is a great site. Um, you go down through here. Um, uh, then moving on, I have uh, mo movie torrents. I have uh, like if I want to know what the new movies are that are out, I have music torrents. Um, uh, Reddit, which which normally if I see something on here that I do like that, that's in Reddit I'll normally go right to right to the uh, Reddit site um, but there there are some things that are nice to just read on this um, as far as moving away from the uh, GUI world which is fun to do um, but uh, like uh, this is another one uh, Traders Den Audio Torrent which this one I, I I don't use our torrent for normally. Let me find something here. Here, uh, I already have that. Let's grab. Uh, do, 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 do. Something. There's nothing anything real good. Uh, let's just check out this Eric Clapton here. Um, and what, what what you actually want to look for is uh, which I know I'm close to it something that's that's dot torrent which sometimes are they're pretty it's pretty tricky it's hard for me to find uh, sometimes I'll go over this page two or three times looking for it um, something tells me I passed it I know I passed it 
you guys probably already see it. Probably like, it's right there, idiot. It's right there. I still don't. I know it's close to this thing normally. Is it not right? Okay. Okay, I'm on it. All right. Okay, see how it says dot torrent in the blue? Okay, click on that. And you can click save, download. Click, click download, right? And then background with notify. All right, normally these things go pretty fast. Um, but it's pretty nice. Actually, I think, I think it goes a lot faster than like if I were to save it and open it in R torrent, which I, I love R torrent, but for some reason, um, e-links goes a lot quicker and and don't try and like if you try and hit Q and quit out of it it'll tell you uh, do you really want to exit e-links and terminate terminate all downloads no you don't you don't want to do that um, at least not until it's finished right um, which I don't want to hit that again okay might as well okay you can see it going now if you do if you do hit it again it will actually show the progress uh, moving on uh, tab three, tab three at work, workspace three. I normally always have the internet open. All right, and I'm gonna move past this. And tab four, I leave blank, and I leave it blank for a good reason, because I'm always in five. All right, which makes the most sense to me. I'm always in tab five. There's ten tabs, which means I'm dead in the center. I'm dead in the center. I can rotate, you know, in between any of the tabs. A, a little quicker than if I was always in tab one, right? Okay, but uh, if I'm working on something, a, a project of any kind, and uh, it's something I have to keep looking at the internet, I'm going to want to be in tab four, right? Because it's right next to the internet. I can tab back and back and forth pretty quickly. And then plus in tab five, I normally always, and I, I open, I open up at least one, I'll open up um, tabbed. Uh, urxvt tabbed um, and I'll open ranger in the top I'll open IRC in the bottom to where I'm, I'm normally chatting with somebody um, and I'll show you this here normally open uh, like a, a movie a movie up and I, I can I have I have hotkeys to to make it smaller to make it bigger I have uh, keys to where I can move it around, right? I can, I can disable. All right, quitting out of that. I, I also uh, another thing is uh, PDF files, right? Uh, like, uh, let's let's look at this one here. Which normally, it, it, I'm pretty sure I have it set to open, to open as floating. I don't know why it's not it's something I have to look at. But same deal. You can make it smaller. You can make it bigger. You know, you look through, read through that while you're talking to your friends. Whatever's going on there. Or maybe it's a PDF. You know that has to do with your program, or you're looking at this. Scroll back to four. You know it all works together. Um, actually, normally in, in the last one in ten, um, I normally have um, I'm normally SSH'd, which I'll just kind of jump real quick into it. I'll, I'll SSH into, and I have a shortcut for that too. I'll SSH into my uh, my desktop. Uh, two passwords, password for the desktop there. Blam them in, and I usually I'll use like Tmux for that. Only because so I don't have to have multiple windows open, multiple passwords. Blam, you're in one time. Uh, you can open up. You know, you can split the window vertically. You can split the window horizontally. You know, see my. I have at least better volume control on my desktop. You know, you can move around a little bit. And I don't think actually the music player is working right now. Uh, only because I'm recompiling everything and yeah yeah I, I, I'm working on that computer right now but it's kinda nice because I use SSH 
a lot because I, I run Gentoo on that machine as well as on the laptop and I'll bounce back and forth and I'll have uh, I'll try to get my configuration files I'll try to get those the same um, uh, especially with key bindings um, you don't want you don't want to jump back and forth in a machine and have the, the key bindings different. It kind of messes with your finger, your yeah, your finger, finger, finger muscle memory, and uh, just your mind in general. Um, something else is pretty neat as far as an awesome setup. Um, and let me just open up. I'll just open up a window here. Like, uh, say I'm working on Haskell. Oops. Say I'm working on um, Xmonad, right? And uh, something happens. I forget a comma, we'll say. Say I leave this comma out, right? I have this screen that I open up, and it's all it's all hotkeys, right? And at the same time, like I can, I can do the same with Awesome. If I'm working on Awesome, I can open up the screen. Then I can open up Awesome, and you can see there's nothing wrong with Awesome. So I could restart Awesome knowing that it's good now if there was a comma missing even in the Lewis script for awesome and I clicked on the screen to open it it wouldn't it, it just wouldn't open so I kill that All right, now let me open up the same screen which actually I didn't save this let me save it alright I took that comma out I saved it right got this screen open now I hit see it shows up as an error which which wouldn't work right so I, it's a test window I always like to test. Let me undo what I did, just so I remember. All right, I think that's pretty much it as far as uh, as my workflow goes. Um, I, I think I talked about everything I want to talk about. Um, yeah, and you can see this is done. It, it lets you, it, it actually lets you know that it's done. Uh, all right, that works for me. And uh, if you have any questions or any anything that you do want to know, uh, maybe I'll post some some stuff below that might help. But uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments below, and uh, hopefully I can help you out with whatever. And uh, hope you have a good day and uh, peace out.